my mother, Sylvia Plath, sat at her typewriter and wrote those letters. Um, they are everything, they embody her, and they are written to my father, Ted Hughes, when they were at their most passionate and their most loving and their most um, ferociously uh, workaholic. I'm not sure everybody finds a love like that in their lifetime. And if they do, however short-lived it is, I think, you know, grab it with both hands and enjoy, but it's going to be quite a ride. My name is Frida Hughes, and my parents are Ted Hughes and Sylvia Plath. My mother and father were poets. My father died in um, 1998, and my mother committed suicide on the 11th of February, 1963. When they met as poets, as um, fledgling poets, although my father was a little bit probably further on than my mother, they both had tremendous work ethics. The work that they produced in those early years was quite extraordinary. My mother's book, Ariel, which was her last book, but there was also um, the collection, The Colossus and Winter Trees. And then my father's um, prize-winning book, Hawk in the Rain. Their relationship has remained somehow fascinating. They were together for seven years and their passion, and if you read my mother's letters to my father, their passion and their love is extraordinary. These letters, the letters from my mother to my father in October 1956, a very short period of time when they were separated. And so they're the only letters to him. This first week or two will be the hardest, with the joy of living with you so vivid and present by the dour contrast of your absence. Living with my God, which is you, like a nun, I talk to you each night before I go to bed, opening the window wide, leaning out, looking at clouds and stars, smelling the wet earth and concentrating hard and completely on you, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. These letters are about the pain of being apart, the passion of um, their feelings for each other, a response, there's a real dialogue, and it's really about work. It's about how to, how to um, improve their poems, improve their work. And she wrote with such passion and ferocity, but also their fledgling careers were beginning to take off. They were both very driven in their own ways, and when the two of them were brought together, of course, it was extraordinary. Their relationship, for many reasons, all these reasons, was intense. Um, the difficulty being, of course, is that if you don't have air, if you don't have other things in a very close relationship, um, it can get stifling um, because they were so close. The actual letters themselves, they're beautiful things. Oh, Teddy, how I repent for scoffing in my green and unchastened youth at the legend of Eve's being plucked from Adam's left rib, because the damn story's true. I ache to return to my proper place, which is curled up right there, sheltered and cherished. This auction is really about the, um, the happiest and the most dynamic part of their relationship when they were working at their best together and still very passionately in love and supportive of each other. There are um, more personal items too. There were a couple of very difficult items. Um, the most obviously difficult, uh, my parents' wedding rings. And I have treasured those for so many years and also because my mother's ring fits just inside my father's ring. Um, I didn't actually realise I had the family photograph album from when I was a child. My mother had written all over the album. She had carefully labelled page after page after page of photographs. So this is a very personal account, a sort of summary of their life in photographs. 
but what all these things represent is the love story. And that's one of the things I would like people who um, acquire these items to enjoy is their origins. To put it bluntly, and I think everybody should talk about death, I don't think there's anything, we're all going that way. Um, I was very conscious of the fact that, you know, one day when I pop my clogs, my stuff will just be stuff. Nobody will know the origin of anything. Um, they need homes, and homes to which, so that I no longer have to carry all the associations. And so that, you know, after I'm gone, the associations will continue, but other people will be responsible for that. And they will value it for all the reasons that I've valued them. That's my ultimate aim.